Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. So today's class is so neither plus auxiliaries. Okay, so please remember that this lesson will be spoken in English only. In case you have any questions, you can ask them to me after the presentation. Okay, so let's start the lesson with the word so plus auxiliaries. Okay, when you have a conversation with another person, of course, and you have something in common with that person, I mean, you have the same opinion or you agree with what another person said, you use so plus auxiliaries. And here is the structure, okay? Pay attention, so it's so plus an auxiliary. It can be a model auxiliary too, yeah? Remember, model auxiliaries are can or could or will, etc. Plus the, the pronoun I. Okay, so you use so plus auxiliaries plus I when you want to respond to positive sentences. Now guys, look at this example, look at this conversation. I work in Mexico City as an English teacher. And the other person says, so do I. The meaning is, I work in Mexico City as an English teacher too. Okay, now pay attention. Look at the verb in red, okay? So, the tense of this sentence is simple present. Now, look at the auxiliary do. Do, remember, is the auxiliary for simple present. So, this person responds to an affirmative sentence and this person has the same opinion he agrees with this person in an affirmative way let's check another example using the same structure okay pay attention to another conversation i read Harry Potter novels last month. And the other person says, so did I. It means, I read Harry Potter novels last month too. Okay, so this person agrees with this person. Okay, so, so this person has the same opinion. Now, Look at the verb in green, red, in simple past. And now, look at the auxiliary did. Did, remember, is the auxiliary for simple past. So this means that the person B responds to an affirmative sentence. Okay, so don't forget, affirmative sentence. Now, another example using so plus auxiliaries. Here is another conversation. I was at home with my parents last weekend. So was I. It means that I was at home with my parents last weekend too. So the person B has the same opinion as the person A. So person B agrees with person A. Now, look at the word in green, was. Okay, simple past, verb B. And look at the auxiliary, was. Remember that was is the auxiliary for, for the simple past, in this case, B. Okay? And remember that the person B 
response to an affirmative Now, sentence. Now, here is one e extra example using so plus auxiliaries. I have been to Canada twice in my life. So have I. It means that I have been to Canada twice in my life too. So the person B has the same opinion as the person A. B agrees with person A. Look at the words in blue. Have. I have been. Okay? So, and the answer, so have I. Have is the auxiliary for present perfect. And person B responds to person A to an affirmative sentence. Okay, now let's continue with the word neither plus auxiliaries. And here is the structure, okay? That's neither plus an auxiliary. It can be do or have or modal auxiliaries like can or should, will, etc. Plus I, the, the personal pronoun. Okay, you use this structure to respond to negative sentences. It means when you have a conversation and you have something in common with another person, but in negative, don't forget, negative sentences, please. Here is an example, please pay attention. I don't eat vegetables, neither do I. So it means that I don't eat vegetables too. Okay, so be careful and pay attention to the words in red. Don't, okay? So you have to use the auxiliary in negative. And neither do, neither do I, because do is the auxiliary for simple present. Okay? When you answer, don't forget, you have to use the auxiliary in the affirmative form. Please, pay attention. Affirmative form. One more example using this structure. I can't ride a motorcycle. Neither can I. Okay, so it means that I can't ride a motorcycle too. Now look at the words in red. Can't. A negative sentence. And in the answer, neither can I. Can is the auxiliary. Can is a modal auxiliary. Yeah, okay? So the person B has the same opinion as the person A, but in negative. Okay? And don't forget, when you answer, the, uh, the auxiliary, the model, has to be in affirmative form. Let's check the following example. I'm not listening to music now. Neither am I. It means I'm not listening to music now too. So the person B has something in common with the person A. So letter B agrees with letter A. And the first sentence, I'm not listening to music now, has a tense. The tense is present continuous. I'm not listening. And neither am I. You have to use am because am is 
the auxiliary for the present continuous. In this case, it's the, the verb be. So, neither am I. And the person B responds to a negative sentence. Okay? Here is one more. I won't go to the meeting tomorrow. Neither will I. Neither will I. It means that I won't go to the meeting tomorrow too. Okay? Look at the words in blue. Want. You know, it's negative, it's for future. Okay? Using the auxiliary will. I won't go. And now look at the auxiliary will. So don't forget that will is the auxiliary for future. But in the answer, in the response, the auxiliary always goes in affirmative. Okay? So neither will I. So the person A won't go to the meeting and the person B won't go to the meeting too because they agree with each other. And person B responds to a negative sentence. Okay guys, so just to finish this presentation, you can use the word nor instead of neither. For example, you can say neither have I or you can say nor have I. So the two options are correct. And now the pronunciation. Some people pronounce this word neither and other people pronounce it neither. So the two forms are correct. Neither and neither. Now this is the end of my presentation. In case you have any questions, you can ask them to me after this presentation. Thank you very much. See you guys.